Was someone trying to attack me? I'll enjoy killing you. you bastard! My turn. Let's get out of here, girls. For some reason, we're not welcome. Good solid mortgage by the looks of it. Done. Get it fed and watered, Clive. Take care of her. Let's go, guys. Lots of things to do. Howdy, Paddy. Well, hello. <clears throat> Ma'am. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do, sir? I do not think at all. Thinking of going Mark to Johnson, who invaded capture years ago and is still at large. He is to be captured alive, last seen in the region of Stillwater Strand. Hello, mister. Easy there. I think that's the guy. Hello, Johnson family. Mind if I join? <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? No. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? So you plan to fight me later? Let's go then. Or let me loose. Yes, didn't you say would come peacefully? No, I'm not. You give a hand, and people ask for the arm. Mission on the map. 
Oh shoot, we have walked into someone's home. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Hey, that's my bounty. I'm sorry. I know we invaded your space, but you tried to take my bounty as an afternoon snack. That's not okay. And you are lucky I need you alive. Hey girl, sorry for that. You can kick Henny in the balls if you want. Of ship. You really thought you could outrun me. We can't trust how to lost these days. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Shit. That was some ride. small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. Leave a spot for me. The price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You know you stuck with that bounty hunter? You ain't whiter than white. I hope your plan catches up with you. Okay, Ice. Now we should go see that moonshine appointment. Ain't my fault. 
Oh, I know. Hey. Grand. Have a nice evening. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. It, uh... What you doing here? I don't know. Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, yep. you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters too, I think. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you don't seem too scared. Yes, not. That's just another Monday. You seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. Well, you better get out of here. <laughs> as soon as possible, friend. As soon as possible. That's a trap, isn't it? To your face. Nope, you bastard. Whoa. Even with them trying to kill me, the scariest part was the woman's face. I wasn't sure if I should shoot or grab some holy water. One cent. Ready? Bad carcass? What are these people eating? Next time, try to hide that it is a trap. It might help. open nice things might not go so smooth anytime now who we got here there they come I counted four. That was easy. Weird. The guy said to be careful with this thing, but I ain't sure if that's going to be an option. made it so, I've got some moonshot. you're a wonderful
wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> what about the money? Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? He didn't pay me. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> it's time for a haircut and shaving. Go well, girl. Morning. Morning, Dad. Uh, you lose the scissors in your house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Let's funny. To work. So what'll it be today? Much better. Please, tell your friends about us. Thank you. Really. Eager, what do you think? Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah, I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Good thing I shaved. I had completely forgotten I had to see her. Call for me, I'll come. And I did not forget oh, about Arthur. it. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than, than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Let me just go out on a limb here and ask Sorry. why? I am I should have asked someone else. But But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. Well, she's not wrong there. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Of course. 